Hello, hello, and welcome back. I am here again with Paola, and I want to talk to you guys about how to keep your body after doing all the things I tell you to implement, how to keep that body year after year after year. So the reason I'm featuring Paula today is because she has been doing everything that I've asked her to do for almost exactly one year now. So as you see, she's still in shape. She did not regain any weight back. She's still energetic. She still feels good and she's still loving uh, the boot camp and her eating plan. Everything that we have in place is working very well for her. So the first thing that I want to do is find out what do you eat on a on a give me a what you eat on a normal day-to-day -day basis okay. example I wake up I'm normally like 95% of the time I have smoothies on the morning okay. I like them because they're easy to make I can put in a big uh, glass container okay. and take it to the office in my car so I'm drinking uh, the smoothie going to the office. Smoothies rock baby yeah. now in your smoothies I know obviously you put fruit in them but do you put any type of supplements in them what do you put well, in them? I put flaxseed okay. um, I put sometimes black seeds, sometimes it's gonna sound crazy, but I put uh, tahini, raw tahini, okay, okay. and uh, a maca. Okay, maca right. I put too a lot. So tell people what that is in case they don't know. Well, maca is like a little powder. It's a, a Peruvian powder that is really great, like for energy and sexuality. They said so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we don't. We're, we're not. Oh, this, is a, this is a G-rated thing. <laughs> Filming right now, but anyway, so you start off with a smoothie, and, and then what do you do um, next? What do you do for lunch? Uh, okay, in the middle of at lunch and my breakfast, I have fruits all the time, like sometimes watermelon or pineapple, the one I feel like that day. Okay. And then for lunch, I normally have a salad, a okay. very light salad, because I'm in the office, so I take it with me. I okay. made every like every, every day in the morning. I make my time to make a nice salad. What do you put on your salad? Um, depends. Sometimes I do the kale salad with avocado and tomato. That's delicious. Do you ever, if you use dressings, which dressings do you use? I'm not good at dressings. Okay, so, so usually you don't put after any After the diet, yes, I okay. don't, I'm not a dressing girl. So, so you don't I, have to have it covered with anything. Mm, okay, really. all right. What I do is like olive oil with a little bit of, um, um, vinegar, not vinegar. Uh, like balsamic vinegar? Balsamic vinegar. Okay, that's good. So, I do that a little bit, okay. or sometimes vinegar with lemon, or those are good, really, really good. Taste it. That's that's all I do. Okay, what's dinner? We're we're at dinner time. What do you uh, eat? Dinner. I do like a lot of raw recipes. I I learn a lot about it, so okay. I kind of do like sushi all raw, okay. vegetables and the nori roll. That's nori it. roll. Or Mexican burritos. That is the lettuce with some. Um, stuff in it but it's all vegetables too. all vegetables so, so like okay now and, like and so basically you're eating fruit in between your meals yes always. and you eat 100 percent raw how many days of the week uh two days for sure sometimes if i can three days and then the rest of the week you have how many meals that are cooked like one meal okay one, so that's it like more the salad and maybe at four or five i get like chicken cook like that's what I cook like okay chicken or fish maybe that's all right it. all right so um what is when is the last time you've had something that was very very bad Paula how long ago and what was it uh, come on fess up time I have like, like almost, time okay, with my girl. almost a mom okay I'll confess, I had a burger a whole grill burger <laughs> wow okay did you make the burger did you get it at a restaurant Where, where'd you get this burger i from? was in a hotel in my anniversary with my husband and so you had a burger had and a burger. what did you feel for that i threw i vomit everything so it all came up yes all of it <laughs> oh my goodness i was so so sick that was the last time i ate okay. red meat that was the last time i was i okay. now i see a red meat i'm like I don't even want to see it anymore. And see, that's what's the key. You're not sensitive to things like that if you eat it all the time. Your body will not reject it. Your body will just accept it. However, when you are putting all the enzymes and phytonutrients and nutrients in your system from raw fruit and vegetables all the time, you're high raw. I call high raw 75% or above. And when you're high raw and you put something like that into your body, your body will reject it. You cannot, it is just not possible. So that, you become very, very sensitive. Whereas at first people can say, oh, well, I can eat all this stuff and I feel fine. Well, of course, because your body has gotten used to it and that's all that you do anyway. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you've created a bad habit. So anything else you want to share for people who are embarking fitness because um, you've had a lot of results since you've been with us. 
Believe it or not, Paola was overweight. So she did, in fact, used to be overweight when she first came to us. And what do you say to people when they say, do they think they can do it too, or do they think it's only you because you're special for some reason? Well, at the beginning they thought I was, oh yeah, she will do it for a month, and then she will start eating again like a maniac. <laughs> so when they saw that I did the diet, and after the diet, you your body really changes. Yes. It's incredible. I don't yes. know what is that riot, but it's so incredible that my body changed. I, I tried to eat a burger and I couldn't. I yes. just like, my body didn't, didn't want it anymore. Yes. And, and keep in mind, and she uses the word diet because a diet is anything that you consume. But we're not advocates of diets, we're advocates of healthy eating and as a lifestyle. It has to be a choice that you make. And you made that choice and you're you're ready to stay healthy for life this is like you said you don't want to do it for one month you all, you get all the benefits you want to do it on and on and on and on every single day from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed healthy sure. foods so until next time ask yourself are you a winner or a whiner winners choose to be fit whiners try not to quit